Hey, and welcome to another By The Way tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, glyphs. Uh, glyphs uh, were added to the game maybe uh, sometime in Wrath. Not exactly sure. Can't remember off the top of my head. But uh, what they're going to do is uh, glyphs are going to have some sort of um, enhancing abilities for your your uh, character, whether it be direct influence of uh, damage done or healing done, uh, shortening of cast times, or just uh, making life a little bit easier. Uh, that's basically what a glyph is going to do. Now, uh, you will not see the glyphs until, or the ability to put on glyphs or use glyphs until level 25, and then uh, from there on up you will get the ability to add more and more up until 85 when you have uh, nine total glyphs that you can use. Uh, there's three different types. There's Prime, which is going to be direct. Uh, it's going to directly influence your damage or your healing abilities. There are Major Glyphs, which uh, will help with cast times or uh, re regions that you might not need to use. And then there are Minor Glyphs, which, uh, for instance, with like a mage, instead of uh, turning something into a sheep, it turns into a penguin. Just uh, kind of uh, fancy, not really influencing the game drastically, but uh, can be helpful in some way. Um, and uh, by the time you hit level 85, you will have the access to three of each. But uh, at level 25, you will only be able to put one prime, one major, and one minor glyph on your character. Now, <clears throat> to access this after you've reached level 25, which you can see I am a level 31, so I should be able to get into it. You go into your uh, talents by hitting N. Uh, the glyphs tab is down at the bottom. Now you can see at 25, these three become available uh, minor, major, and one prime. Now at level 50, three more will unlock. At level 75, Another three will unlock, giving you access to all nine. Um, on this right-hand side right here is a little scroll bar. This will uh, show you all of the glyphs that are for your character, no matter what your spec. Obviously, grayed out means you do not have it. Uh, if they're colored in like that, then you have access to using them, and you can put them on your character. They are separated by prime, major, and minor. And you can flip between specs if you have a dual spec. Now the way of obtaining these glyphs is to either be an inscriptionist and make them, or to be a uh, to just go on the auction house and buy them from an inscriptionist who has made them. Uh, now in that instance, say right here, you'll see there is the glyph of bloodthirst. This I purchased right before. This is a prime glyph. It uh, increases damage of bloodthirst by 10%. Now, see, that is a direct influence of the damage I've done in while using bloodthirst. So that is a prime glyph. It is very helpful. Um, after you have purchased it or made it, you just right-click it. It'll go through a short cast time. And you'll see it lights up right here. Now, um, once you have learned it, you will never have to relearn it. You'll have it in your glyph list forever. Now I'll just show you uh, glyph of bloodthirst. I will left click on this. Only be able to put it into the prime slot because it's a prime glyph. Click on the prime slot. Short cast time. And it's there. Now when I use bloodthirst it uh, gets 10% more damage. Uh, as you can scroll down, you can see I have some other ones. Uh, we'll put that one there. That's a major resonating powder. Reduces the rage cost of your thunderclap ability by five. Obviously, this is specifically to a warrior class because it's a move they have, uh, an ability they have. And the last one, a minor glyph. I'll just put this one on. Left click. Only the minor slot opens up. Click inside there. And after a short cast time it's on there um, and you can see this is uh, reduces the cost of Sunder armor by 50% now that's my ability that um, reduces the 
the armor of the target that I'm attacking. Uh, right now it takes seven rage. Uh, that would drop it by 50%. So uh, I imagine they did three and a half rage and probably round up to about four. So it uh, helps me. It doesn't not game changing, but it definitely helps me with that. Um, those are the three types of glyphs. Now, um, once you've learned it, once you've used it, it stays there forever. You do never have to. You never have to buy it again. Uh, but you can swap them out. It's not like you put it there and it's there forever. But to remove it, uh, you'll see right here, vanishing powder. That's what you need. Uh, clears one glyph, allowing you to change it to a new one. Now, we'll see. We'll say, in this instance. I do have two major glyphs, and I said, oh, uh, while the resonating powder is not exactly what I need right now, I would rather have the glyph of cleaving. So I need one vanishing powder to, as you can see, I can't click on it, I'm missing the region. To get those, you talk to an inscription supplier. As you can see, we are staying right here in an inscription supplier. Now, depending on the glyph that you would like to remove, you will have to, this, the prime glyphs will cost one vanishing powder. Um, major costs one vanishing powder. And minor at this level is one vanishing powder. Once you get up into the higher levels, you will need to use, um, I'll show you right here, open up the supplies. The dust of disappearance will become uh, needed once you get up into the higher levels. The low levels, the vanishing powder, will work just fine. They come in stacks of fives, very cheap. Obviously in the uh, upper levels, dust of disappearance is 10 gold a piece, not the cheapest thing in the world. But to do that, I'll show you. Five vanishing powder, it says uh, shift right click to remove. Now shift right click, it says, are you sure you want to remove? I say yes. Short cast time and it's gone. Now I can put a different glyph there. And as you can see, they're both still there. So I can move those, change them, do whatever I need to do based on what spec I've chosen or what uh, glyphs I'm currently in need of or feel that it would help my gameplay better. Now, um, those are the basics. Uh, glyphs, once you hit 25, you should definitely get into those. Get the ones specific to your class because they will definitely help you. Um, but basically, like I said, either an inscriptionist makes them or you buy them on the auction house. Some glyphs can be very expensive, uh, upwards of 100, 200, 250 gold, depending on the glyph. Um, others can be very, very cheap. Uh, the low level inscriptions, uh, glyphs can be less than a gold, two gold, five gold, because they're, they're made in high abundance. But, uh, just I I mean you can go through and you can collect every single one you'll end up spending a decent amount unless you're making them yourself but uh, I would highly highly recommend that you get the three main uh, prime ones filled and the major ones the minor ones aren't as important but definitely do help you in your game uh, those are the basics of the glyphs remember the three different kinds prime major minor uh, they definitely help you with the game definitely you will need to incorporate them into your gameplay. But uh, thanks for tuning in for another By The Way tutorial. I'm Dave, and like always, good luck and have fun.